Okay then, so all animations that we're going to be making in this course are going to be controlled by a built-in view transition component. And this component wraps around whatever element that we want to animate or transition. And when we do that, it applies transition classes to the element that it wraps. And there are six classes that it applies to that element, which allow us to then control the animation of that element. So the first three are enter from, enter to, and enter active. And this allows us to control the animation or transition of the element onto the page. So this thing right here, enter from, that is a class applied to the element before it enters the browser. And this is where we set the initial CSS state of the element. Enter to is a class applied to the element as it enters the browser. And this is where we set the final CSS state of the element and then enter active is a class that is applied while the element is transitioning from one state to another so from this to this and this is where we dictate how long the transition will take and any easing function so an example of this is by having an initial state of opacity zero so we say enter from opacity zero then we say enter to opacity one so we want to transition from this to this as this element comes onto the page. And then inside enter active, we have this transition property where we say we're gonna transition the opacity. It's gonna take two seconds and we're gonna ease it in. So it's gonna go from this to this over two seconds. And when it first enters the page, it will fade in, okay? So pretty simple. Now we also have three other classes and that's for the element leaving the page. We have leave from, leave to, and leave active and these are very similar this is going to be the state before it exits the page right here this is where we want it to go to and then leave active controls the transition timing etc now we can also add a name prop to our transition like this for example in this case we could call it fade and then view will append this to our transition classes over here and this means that we can have multiple transitions on a page each with unique transition classes and css properties so let's see how to put all of this into practice in our application. So then to demo this, I'm going to work inside the home components. And what I'm going to do is make a transition component below the to do's like so. We'll close this off and then I want to transition a div tag on and off the page. And we'll do that as we click a button or something. So let's create the div first of all. And inside there we'll say hello ninjas. Now I only want to show this div if a certain condition is true. So let me apply a viv to this and set it equal to show p. So we need to make this ref now down in setup. I'll do that down here, const, and we'll call this show p, set it equal to a ref, and then to begin with, I'm gonna set it equal to false. So it doesn't appear on the screen to begin with, okay? Now also, we need something to toggle this value. Before we do that though, let me return it down here so we can actually use it in the template, show P. And now underneath this transition, so not inside it because we're not transitioning this, I'm gonna place a button. And this button says toggle. And then when we click this button, I'm changing the value of show P to be the reverse of what it currently is. So if it's currently false, it changes it to true. If it's currently true, it changes it to false. So we're toggling between true and false every time we click this button. And what that should do now is show this thing and then hide it and then show it and then hide it and so forth. So let me save this and click this toggle. We see the text toggle again, it hides, etc. Okay, so this all works. But at the minute, there's no animation or transition, even though we have this transition component right here. When we do this, it doesn't fade in or anything, it just appears, so nothing's really different. But this gives us the ability now to create an animation based on some transition classes. It applies to this element, and we can style that in a second. First though, what I'm gonna do is give this a name so that it kind of scopes our transition classes. And I'm gonna call this Fade. So now we have those six transition classes applied to this that we can style. And remember, that is gonna be fade enter from, and fade enter to, and fade enter active for the entrance classes, and then fade leave from, fade leave to, and fade leave active for the exit classes. So let's style these down here. First of all, I'm gonna create all of those classes. So fade hyphen, enter 
hyphen from. And remember, it's fade because we gave it a name up here. If we called this boo, then it would be boo enter from. All right, but we're not, we're calling it fade. So that's the first class. We're not gonna style these just yet. I'm gonna create them all first of all, then we'll style them. So fade enter two. And this is going to be the state that we want to go to. So this is where we start when we're entering the DOM. This is where we end up. And then we have fade, enter, active to control the transition. How long is it? And the easing curve. And by the way, these little warnings are just because we have no properties inside these selectors yet. Anyway, next we'll do the leave ones. So it's fade, leave, from. So that's where it's leaving from. So the state on the page before we transition it out. And then we have fade, leave to where we want to end up. And then finally we have fade hyphen leave hyphen active, which controls the leave transition. So let's open these up now and start to style them. So first of all, fade enter from. So remember, this is gonna be the state of this element, this div right here, before it enters the page. Now at that point, I want it to be invisible. So in other words, I want it to have an opacity of zero, and that means we're not gonna be able to see it. Now, what do I want to animate or transition it to? Well, I enter that inside this class, fade enter to. So in this case, opacity is gonna be one like so and then fade enter active decides how we transition from this to this and we do that using a transition property then we can say we want to transition the opacity or we could say all if there's more than one property we want to transition and then i'm going to say it's going to take two seconds and the curve will be ease so it's going to ease into the transition okay then so that's the enter class is done and let's give this a whirl now if i toggle this you can see it fades in so that fading is controlled by this now let's do the fade out so to begin with when we're fading out we're going to start with an opacity of one so that's fade leave from then we're going to go to an opacity of zero so it fades from one to zero the opposite of this and then this fade leave active is gonna be the same as this. So let's copy it and paste it. So transition all properties, two seconds and ease. So now if we save it, it's gonna fade out as well. Fade in and then fade out. Cool, so this is now all working. Now, when you're working with these classes, a lot of the time you don't need this fade enter to, so we can comment that out, and fade leave from. And this is still gonna work. Let me first of all demonstrate this. So if I click toggle, it's still gonna work to fade in, and it's still working fading out. And that's because opacity one is the default state of this div element on the page, right? So view already knows that this is the default state and it knows that it's gonna transition from this opacity to an opacity of one. Now that's not the case for every single item or property that we might have inside here, but it is in this case. So a lot of the time you'll see people maybe not use these classes, enter to and leave from because they represent the default state of the element on the page. However, for the sake of learning this, and for the sake of being explicit, I am going to use these so it's easy to understand what we're doing all of the time. And maybe in the future, we'll refactor things so that we can delete the rules that we don't need, okay? Another thing to notice is that this and this is the same. So again, a lot of the time, you might see instead of creating two different rules, something like this. Paste this down here. So we have fade enter active and fade leave active, both using the same transition. And then you could delete this if you wanted to. Again, though, for the sake of learning, I'm not going to do that just now. And we'll leave it as six separate rules. So next up, we'll apply what we've learned here about this transition components and its classes to animate this toast notification at the top of the screen.